Hello all, let us see how to uh, do oxygen and pulse monitor using Node MCU. So we all know right, the Node MCU uh, is a very popular Wi-Fi board used in embedded designs, right? Uh, so um, this is a low cost board and is used widely by many people in the industry, enthusiasts. And uh, this board holds a ESP8266 module, uh, which actually is a 8266 chip on the module, right? Now, this is the basic pinout. So, um, now this particular Node MCU has various serial interfaces, right? SPA, I2C, UART to communicate with the external. Uh, peripherals right so for do performing uh, um, monitoring of uh, oxygen and heart rate we need a sensor so one of the sensor that is available in the market and you can also get in your uh, um, local market easily is max 30102 so this is a series uh, like you also have max 30100 and uh, 10 30102 is also there mm. So this particular sensor uh, is basically a SPO2 in the heartbeat sensor which provides data over the digital interface, the I2C interface. So this I2C interface can be uh, connected to the node MCU and uh, mm, this particular uh, um, sensor readings can be uh, transmitted over Wi-Fi to the Node MCU module. So if we see the um, Max 30102 chip internal block diagram, this is from the Max 30102 data sheet. So you can see here basically this has a um, IR uh, uh, and uh, uh, the red LED which basically is provided uh, uh, a voltage of 3.3 uh, volts and this the base of uh, the readings that is done and then uh, this particular chip also has uh, internal uh, temperature sensor which provides output over the I2C along with the other sensor readings so temperature reading is another advantage of this uh, chipset so this particular chipset operates on 1.8 volts so now if we are um, talking about uh, interfacing this particular chipset to uh, the node MCU, we know that node MCU basic voltage of operation is 3.3 um, volts uh, and so the external interface will also be 3.3 volts whereas the digital interface as we talked here um, for the VDD is 1.8. So we need a level translator which is shown here basically which interfaces between node MCU and the um, max 30102 chipset. Now, what are these pieces? Actually, when you are designing the circuit, node MCU is a ready-made built-in circuit, right? So, we can um, plug in directly on the board if we have headers on the board, which are female headers. So, these headers are nothing but uh, um, 1 cross 50. 2.54 mm pitch female single row female headers uh, placed at a distance exactly equal to the pitch of the node MCU male connectors so that you can directly plug in the um, node MCU over these pins. Uh, so that's the biggest advantage here. And then we have a USB which gets which connects uh, um, which provides the 5 volts so basically you power from USB and then you give it to a regulator which generates 1.8 volt um, and the same 5 volts from the USB goes to this connector and the internal LDO generates the 3.3 volts which will be provided to the one end of the uh, level translator. So the level translator current operates on uh, internal uh, um, LDO and then as we said this is the sensor. So, uh, very uh, basic circuit right. We can expand this uh, connectivity by adding some more features um, but this basic circuit should perform the operation. One few things which are missing in the circuit are basically uh, the ESD diode protection missing here because these are the exposed interfaces um, and uh, uh, node MCU we are 
only uh, connecting the power supply um, ground and SDSCL pin. So if you want, we can use other interfaces from the node MCU. So very simple circuit, right, for oxygen and pulse monitoring. Mm, so we have a circuit. In future, we'll be posting the PCB layout for the same. Thank you.